Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left its father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. <gasps> Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah. But can you, can you put it down over there, that handle is... No. Filthy. Okay, then. I'll just... I will just... Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. I'm feeling creative today. Oh, what? Nothing? Oh, okay.
Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. One of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madhurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, Cinder. Don't touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. That's fine. Always happy just to chat.
What speaks to you? I don't suppose you could try keeping that clean. What? No? No, just a, a question. I'm, fi I'm fine. I'm fine. Happy to provide. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but um, mostly they just <gasps> try to kill you. Good tip. Atreus, to me. Okay, I'm coming. Please be careful. I'm still fixing that. Stupid head chief. Tell me what's wrong with you!
almost ram it. Can't burn it, can't cut it. I can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. <laughs> Enemies ahead!
We'll need something to get through this one. Do you think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting alone. It would serve you to stop talking.
Father? I can see why Mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Sindri knows his sky movers tangled the roots up here. I doubt it. So how's he gonna get it to work? I do not care. Huh. Is that smoke? Stay back, boy. 
Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy, saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. We'll use this. Graythaw. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Just give that a turn. There. See? Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. We talked to the world serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages. 
Even ones I've never heard of. When he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back at all. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Rios! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanahan? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Those runes are of Muspelheim, the Fire Realm. No place for children, even brave ones. Temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Please. Take those stairs down and turn right. I'll be waiting up here. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy. You're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Could Vanir magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure.
That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build tier stones? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leoxa. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of Alfheim, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. Approach the table. Over here. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, 